Hello viewers, today for the initial checkout we have another Vornado fan. This one is also of more recent manufacture. Somebody informed me that the other one I showed recently was from the 2013. I certainly think that these are newer than that, but I'm not sure how the serial number decodes, so I'll have to take their word for it. Oh, there we go, serial number March 14. Okay, so it very well could have been from the 2013 then. That's surprising, I really thought these were newer. Made in China! No wonder it doesn't work right. And the model number is 5303. Okay, so then maybe, maybe this was a short-lived design from the early to mid-2000s. I don't know. So these are, let's see, about seven years old. This plug is all sorts of jacked up here. I don't know what the deal is with that. It is a fused plug, but at least the plug, uh, the fuse is replaceable. So this VN, let's say if it was made in 14, I was purchasing 15. So at this point, it's lived through five seasons. The warranty, I think, uh, the longest one they offer is five years. So that's probably ran out of warranty very recently. Let's see if it still runs. Oh, the bearings are locked up. Not good. Not good at all. Now on this one, the motor is pretty big and it appears to have vents. Which is kind of interesting because the other one, which is bigger, compare it. The other one I showed recently, this came from the same state sale. It probably was purchased by the same person at the same store at the same time. The other one that's slightly bigger appears to have a smaller motor physically, no vents, and it's, it is a, a less powerful motor because this one is rated for the 0.53 amps, which for a PSC is a fair bit of power, and the other one is rated for the 0.7 amps. Only 0 0.70, the extra zero there is extraneous. So this motor is more powerful, which is kind of interesting, especially considering it's a smaller fan. So if we put it up to high, I think the motor has enough power to overcome the bearing issue. I mean, it's, it's going fast, no doubt about it. It would be throwing out more air if it was cleaner, I'm sure. The problem is it's so loud. This is tolerable, but it's still kind of loud. And the air output's not impressive. It certainly seems like it should be doing more than it is. And on low, it just kind of almost stalls out because of the friction in the bearings. Would be very quiet if it wasn't for the motor hum and everything. So, you know, I don't know. It's not terrible. There's certainly oh, how short that spin down time is. It's ridiculous. Bearings are probably one more year or two more years. They'd be totally locked up beyond what the motor could even run. And that's just a shame because that's that's just sloppy. You know, put some more oil in the daggone thing at the factory. They did it years ago. We got fans from the 80s that still run just fine, never oiled. And you get stuff like this, and in five years, and the oils are gone. That ain't right. So, disappointed. Now, this one too is really creaky. Ugh, just, ugh. Now, it looks to me like this may be relatively easy to take apart. Now, of course, it's going to be a pain in the neck to clean these guard slats. But, I think... This may be relatively easy to service, and if that's the case, that of course will be a redeeming factor. But 
as I said with the other one, I'm not super impressed with these newer Vornado fans.